a robotics engineer. I'm very passionate about robotics, automation, the Internet of Things, and all sorts of related topics. So I've decided to make a video series showing you some of the projects that I've been working on and then giving you some of the technical details about how I achieved that project. Now, each of these projects I'll be showing you are projects that I worked on while employed by the company that's working on this thing. So I can't give you source code or any specific details like that, but I'll try to give you enough details that would let you put the same kinds of features into your own projects. So this first video is about a project I worked on for a company called Psych Club Live. Psych Club Live produces entertaining home fitness videos where the fitness instruction is paired with music and a light show, as I'm showing here. Now, these triangle lights that you see on the screen here are called Nano Leaf panels and they're commercially available at places like Best Buy where you can buy them online and the company Nanoleaf which makes these panels actually has released an API or application programming interface that developers can use to control their light panels. So Site Club Live tasked me with the challenge of synchronizing the user's home light panels right with their light show in the fitness video. So I'll start by giving you a demonstration of how the finished product works and then in the subsequent videos I'll go into some details about how I got this to work. So here in my house I have a basic fitness bike that I bought from Amazon and I have an Android tablet that is connected to this bike. It's just attached with a tablet holder. It's not connected to the bike electronically or through the internet or anything like that. On this Android tablet, I have downloaded the Psych Club Live app that you can get from the Google Play Store. And I've also opened a browser window and I've created an account with Psych Club Live by going to cycloblive.com. So I have a username and password login. Now, when I log in on this app, it takes me to a screen that prompts me to connect my nano leaves. So here on the wall, I have my nano leaf set up, plugged in, and I'm going to walk over here to the nano leaves and press and hold this button on the Nanoleaf power supply until the little white light starts to flash. Then back in the app here, I'm going to tap the connect button and it says to wait about five seconds for the connection to complete. And then it gives me a little bit of feedback. And there's a test button. And every time I tap this test button, it will change the colors of my nano leaf panels to indicate that this connection is active. So then I tap done. And now I'm going to go and play a song. So I go to the library and I'm just going to pick any one of these songs here. Here we go. The video loads. And then the light panels on the wall start to respond to what's happening in the video. Now, Nanoleaf has, of course, things like sound reactive technology to change what's happening on the nano leaves in response to sound, but that's not actually what's happening here. In fact, what's happening here is that Cyclob Live has these lighting designers who have decided what sort of pattern the nano leaves should be displaying on the wall. And they've communicated that programming to me. And my task is to make the nano leaves do on the wall what the lighting designers have decided that they should do. And if you watch what's happening in this video and watch what's happening on the wall, you'll see that what's happening on the wall actually kind of matches what's happening in the video. So 
what I'm going to be showing you in the next couple of videos is some of the basic things about how I used the NanoLeaf API to make that happen.